Hello traders, thanks so much for clicking. Today we're going to look at a great breakout strategy that I employ in my trading. I want to share it with you. Uh, it has a really good high probability of winning, uh, reduces your risk. It's a great little trade here and I'm going to show you what it looked like when uh, I used that this, uh, this strategy on Friday, this past Friday on uh, July 7th. It was a really good opportunity to show that to you. So I'm gonna get that out. Let's take a quick look here. So first of all, I call this the rubber band strategy. Now really, uh, I'm sure other people use this. This is something that I just name it for my particular playbook. A couple things though. Um, first and foremost, you must have discipline to do this because this is not a trade where you uh, you mess around. You get out if you're wrong uh, and goes against you and uh, got to have patience. It takes a little bit of effort to get into it. Persistence. You may have to try this once or twice and it really helps if you have a volume profile. So if you're not using a volume profile, this uh, certainly is, is something that's very uh, critical. But if you don't use a volume profile, stay tuned. I'm going to show you at the end what it looks like there. All right. So moving ahead, let's take a look at um, what we need to do to get involved here. For So trading the, uh, the rubber band breakouts, you need to anticipate the behavior, first and foremost. Context. Are you in alignment? You know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to really... Uh, be trying to do an, uh, a breakout to the upside when there's a downtrend going on. Now, it doesn't mean you can't. There's other opportunities and short squeezes and whatnot. But for the most part, you want to be in with the alignment, even if it is the short squeeze. want to make sure that. What we want to look at is a pullback to the high volume node. And I'm going to show you that real quick. Let's, let's, take a, let's enlarge this a little bit. All right, so here is the high volume node right here at 49. You can see the VPOC in this uh, this particular trade was the high volume node right near this high where we're trying to break out of. So what made this trade uh, for me, um, the obvious uptrend, the fact that the volume had followed the price, uh, a lot of good things going on that, for that. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to look for a trigger. Uh, my trigger was a stop run at the VPOC. I'll show you that here in a second. We also want to identify our potential break point. And like I said, we identified our volume area as the VPOC. And then we want to wait for that sell through like you saw and then enter as the flush ends. Now, one thing that's really important, um, I trade in even lots. And so what happens is when that flush happens, I'm going to show you how that happened. When, uh, when that comes in, I trade in even lots, two, four, six, eight, and then I sell half at the break point or pretty close to the break point to cover the cost of my stops. What this does is it reduces my risk, yes, and it also makes it to where the worst case scenario for me is that I have a scratch trade because you know what? These, uh, these reversals can happen really, really fast. So you need to manage your trade aggressively here. So you want to be on top of it. If there's a, any kind of sign of reversal, I'm quick to be out. I can always enter again, but uh, you know I protect my profits or protect my area as well. So at this point, if we get a, uh, a breakout and I'm already scaled out, I've got a small little window of uh, profit or I have potential that I can let it go for runner or I can get out whenever I need to, but I manage that trade extremely aggressively. That's uh, very important. So let's pull back. Let's see how this hat plays out. So what happened? Uh, we sold off, we bumped up, we sold off again, we bumped up, we kept bumping up, we kept bumping up. And I started thinking here is a point where I want to get in around this volume. So at 49, uh, was the uh, area where the volume point of control is. Now you can see we broke out. You're probably aware of that, but let's enlarge this a little bit. I want to show you the details. So what happened? We bumped up and we bumped up. And when we sold off down here, we hit these stops. Now, I have practiced this. And we're going to talk about here this in a second. But I have practiced this move a lot. And I knew that if we started selling off down here at the settle point, uh, and hitting those stops that were likely to come down and hit those stops. So I'm prepared personally to get long down here if that should happen. However, what happens is it comes down here and this flush stops. We don't go to the next layer of stops 
And so as we started to climb here, I entered long. Now, if it came down to 40, <clears throat> 47.50, I was out. I was long at 49. I was out at 47.50. I had a point and a half stop, right? 1.5 points. That's it. And so it was really easy, and you have to be disciplined to do that. And I set up my orders with brackets, but immediately it went in my favor, and I was scaled at 52.50. The worst case scenario here is that I was going to make a small profit once I got scaled. And then what happened? This just took off. Now, my initial uh, sell point was right here when we broke this, um, this area. This, uh, we had a, a high volume node that from, uh, from a couple previous days. And this general area is where my target was. And when we hit this uh, 64, it sold. So I got 49 to 64, 15 point move. Uh, on uh, and I sized up as well. I was actually uh, a little, almost double my normal size there. So it was a very big trade uh, for me. And the reason why, once again, is this rubber band strategy. I came down. I got the. Uh, I waited for the volume to flush through, hit those stops, and I entered really, really quick. That was very important. Uh, practicing that, and that's what we need to talk about next. Because you can do this trade, but if you don't practice this trade if you don't watch breakouts like this if you don't uh, watch them at faster speeds and then practice your clicking the button then what's going to happen is your brain's going to have to process it while it's happening and you're going to miss the trade most likely how many times have you been sitting there i knew i should have done it i was just thinking and i couldn't boom and it moved away all right so practice journal keep the screenshots come back to these things look at them over and over and over and over and I promise you, you'll get a whole lot better, all right? That's, the, uh, that's one of those things that, uh, without a doubt, I can promise you, uh, will certainly do work there for you. Now, the, uh, the other part of this equation um, is I wanted to show you what it looks like if you're just doing candles, right? Um, same, same scenario, this is a five-minute candle. Uh, this is where the pullback come right before that breakout. And you can see the pullback came. Look at this. We had very low volume on this breakout, on this uh, on this pullback. I mean, you know, look at this pullback. We had a lot of volume. Pullback here. We had more volume. But right here, it was very light. Actually, it should have been here. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong arrow. The arrow is right there. It's even smaller. But you can see how this can be a very beneficial for you, all right? So uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, hit, hit me up in the uh, comments below. I'm always available. I am very happy to help out any way I can. It helps me uh, as well. So thank you uh, very much. Now, also, uh, I do an after-trade analysis. Did I have location? Did I have my trigger? Did I execute properly? Uh, this is all part of my... Uh, after the uh, trade plan. So this is something I hope you can incorporate. I always grade myself on the trade. That trade for me today was an A plus in that regard. If you like what you see, subscribe, like, hit that bell. I do training videos with stop runs, absorptions, trade reviews like you've seen today. I also have a daily interactive uh, stream. Come and visit. I'm, I'm there almost every day. Uh, and every day is trading archive. So you can go back and use these for your own purposes. So once again, thank you for, uh, for watching. Have a great day.